After the carrots are harvested, these are clean, washed and graded. The carrots which do not meet the specifications are separated as carrot rejects and waste. 95% of these comprise of processed discards which are carrots with broken ends, vertical splits, forked ends as shown in the top left hand corner of the slide. The remaining are 5% are infected. Do you ever wonder what happens to them? Let me share it with you. These are partially utilized towards the animal feed, but most of it they end into the landfills, releasing carbon dioxide, causing detrimental effect on the environment. So here is where my research comes in. It focuses on the valorization of these carrot rejects and waste. We assess three pathways for its utilization. First, the beta carotene extraction, biofuel, and in food product development. Beta carotene extraction is a labor intensive and investment intensive proposal and researchers are already working on it. It was not a good candidate for its direct utilization as biofuel due to the high moisture content present inside them. Product development, none of the researchers had reported potential utilization of carrot rejects in product development. It seemed to be a bit challenging, but we wanted to assess this pathway. So the next question was, which product are we looking into? Carrot puree seemed to be the potential answer because it would allow the complete utilization of the biomass, including the peels and the crowns. Yes, you heard it right, peels and the crowns. Carrot peels are reported for its bitterness due to the presence of polyacetylenes, while carrots are reported for high beta carotene content. And research studies have shown that the combination of these two is helpful in preventing the cancer in humans. So now we were looking, the next big question was, what kind of a process we are looking into? So we fall back on our conventional methods of steam blanching and pressure cooking, but the results revealed that the longer duration of high temperature exposure actually destroyed beta carotene content in the carrots which was not at all desirable. So we started looking for other novel options. We developed a method by using a mechanical mixture and sound energy, which was named as multiple pass ultrasonication with mechanical homogenization. This method allowed us to retain 80% of beta carotene content with desired particle size and high fiber content. Now look at the bigger picture. The carrot rejects and waste, which were destined to go into the landfills, could be utilized in the development of food product, thus benefiting the consumer, the processor, and the producer.